Hello everyone, it's Anna from Anna's Paper Creations and I thought I would share with you how to make an easy and uh, fast uh, journal. I've uh, already made one and I'm also going to make one more that's a bit smaller so I thought uh, um, I'd share how to make it. But I can show you a bit first how it uh, works. So this is for my family. They are not scrapping booking people so I had to make it plain. So uh, this is meant to be a journal for our family and write uh, stories. So here in the back I made a family tree with the pebbles on the pictures here so they can add more um, pictures. And in this envelope here I put some uh, punched out more so they know the shape. So yeah, and I can show you the pages here. They are just plain in this book and it's bind with a thread binding. So, and we can start here. I'm going to use uh, Tim Holtz um, stamp here. It's uh, the book uh, cover stamp. So then I just me measure the stamp and uh, how big I want the journal. So this is a small one. So, but if you want the measurements, it's five and uh, th by three and one quarter, and you need two of these, and you need one by five by three. Uh, quarters uh, plus a little bit a bit wider than this is going to go on the inside if you can see here it's a bit bigger so this is four and three quarter by three three quarter so we can start with uh, putting the book together like so and for that we need some hinges and this time I usually use a TVEC envelope because they are strong, but I'm going to use something else on the outside, so I think it will be strong enough. So I can show you a bit here. Um, here I made some st strips, that's the same height as um, the cover, and I scored it at an half an inch, like so. And uh, for this, who's going to be in the middle, that's only three... Um, quarters uh, wide so there I scored three eighths of an inch like so and then cut it at uh, three quarters so. and maybe we can start with this so this can be dried yeah I think so so then we just fold this over And I like to round the corners a bit. So this glue is uh, Scotch Strong Precise Glue and this is uh, the same glue as uh, Quick Dry. I think just they got a new name on it. So. Place this on here. So here we are going to uh, bind the pages with a thread. So, and uh, if you find hard to line this up, you can use a ruler, um, like so, and line it up there. But I uh, just eyeball it here. So. I think I maybe need to cut a bit off here wide in the middle and it build up so much. So this you can uh, cut a uh, 3 8 and an, of an inch here or score. So. On the other 
side. line it up. I'm not sure you see it, but all the way into the other. working with a thin shipboard and um, doesn't want to make a big, big journey, you can also make this another way. Just score it where you want it, the spine to be and then fold it over and cover with paper or anything around here. That's an, uh, also an easy way to do it. So, then we can start with the pages and put this aside. And um, here I just used a bit of thick uh, copy paper and uh, in the end of the video I will show you the products I've used if you want to know. So, and then it's uh, I use a big uh, a strong um, thread, Gitman. I think it's for buttons and so. So don't use uh, the thinnest um, Thread. So now we can start binding this here. So the first page is the one that needs a bit work. Try to tie this up here. Like so. Move this over. Now the next one. Be sure to make it strong and hold your threads tight. So. Show you a couple more and then I will be back when I've done them all so you don't have to watch it all but this is a really fast way to add uh, pages to a journal so you can make a junk journal or uh, yeah anything you like to hold here so the first page don't uh, slide out when you bind it. So 
so now we are going to bind the last page on here. So now it's uh, becoming thick here, so it's great to hold it like so. Turn around. So and we'll bind this on the back here. Secure this a bit so sure it will hold. I'll use some score tape here. You can use some glossy accents or whatever. So now this is ready to be glued down on the cover here. Now I see I take this upside down, so it's just to change it. So this way you can add in uh, more pages if you like to, or you can also put in some uh, more inserts. So. If you have a tag or something, you can put inside like so so then you can add more mu much more in your pages so now the book is uh, finished uh, bind it and I'm also going to decorate it so if you want to watch a bit more I will uh, decorate the front and the back and the spine here so and then I show you the products I used after so see here for we can start with the back I think And here I just measured a bit uh, smaller than the cover here. So I want to have this on here. Take it the right way. It says life in a moment. And it's from uh, Tim Holtz. And I have um, uh, painted it black. And then um, went over with some gold. i show you later what I used. And uh, the paper here is the embossed. Take it off there. And this is 
said also a chain from Tim Holtz and I painted it black and then went over with a gold. So try to find the middle here and just eyeball it. So now this is uh, finished to glue uh, down on the back, but I almost forgot I have to take the spine here first. And this is a uh, vinyl, um, I'll show you, I don't pronounce it right, I think, vinyl. It was uh, black and I embossed it with a Tim Holtz um, clock embossing folder and also went over with uh, some gold rubbing. Now it's important that we hold it like so when we take this on. So we'll try to find what I want here. I want a bit of the clocks to show up in the middle. Like so. And then we fold it down. Now we can take the back here. And I think we need uh, maybe some strong glue here. So you can use liquid glue or something strong here. Hope this will hold. So we try. If not, I go over with another glue later. <laughs> to use clips to hold the glue down, so I'm sure it will work well. So now we can take the front. on some paper on the inside cover here. And then we
some clips on here. So now let's just see inside here. These papers here are uh, Tim Holtz's paper. So I'm going to use this uh, gel in a, a carousel storage I made. So now the book is uh, finished and uh, here is how it works and you can add a lot of uh, pages here if you like to. So I'm going to close this up with this close clothes pin from uh, Tim Holtz and maybe I add some uh, charms here. I see what I do. So this is going to go inside my carousel. And now I can show you a bit of products I used. Um, this is metallic rubber rub-ons and it doesn't say the, the um, company. So maybe that's uh, the name. I'm not sure. So I can show you a bit here. And just rub over like so. Lightly. It's really fun and easy to use. So I also used a lot of um, Distress inks and um, these for the pages, Distress stain and it's uh, tarnished brush and antique bronze for these pages. And then I went over with um, brushed corduroy, cor corduroy Distress ink from Tim Holtz and black soot and um, walnut stain. And vintage photo and uh, for um, the embossing here there I used uh, super fine detail gold from Rancher and um, Espresso so this is for, for the front and back here and uh, all the stamps here are from Tim Holtz and I also used um, paint tapper I found that really great to use so, was there anything else? Uh, yeah, also this embossing, this dress embossing, and this glue I showed you. But it, it's important that you use the glue you like best, so this works fine for me. So, yeah. So I hope this was helpful and that you want to try it. It's so much fun you can do with this and uh, add some envelopes and uh, uh, yeah, embellishment. So I stick something under here. And you can also change out the pages when you are done journaling if you uh, want to add some new pay pages. So thank you so much for watching and uh, I wish you all a happy and a great day. Take care. Bye bye.